Hey Siri. Uh -huh. What's your favorite technology show? It's tech today. Well, I'm kidding. That's what I'm saying. These AI assistants haven't been the smartest, be it Siri, Google Assistant, or even Alexa. That said, there was this whole AI storm for the past few months with ChatGPT and then the launch of Google Bard, but that seems to have passed as well. But the AI revolution isn't over by any means. There's several tools out there which are useful, which can genuinely level up your game when it comes to content or even your businesses or finance or any of that stuff. And some of them are also free to use. The thing is, they're not publicized as widely as these tools by tech companies. So what we're going to do now on Tech Today is round up some of those top AI tools that can make your life a whole lot easier and, well, a lot more fun. Over to you, Pranav. Oh, hi. Now, unless you've been living offline, which is hard to do in the hyper-connected world we live in today, you must have heard of artificial intelligence or AI. And OpenAI ChatGPT really introduced us to the idea of tools regarding AI. And today we're going to check out some of the most exciting and between you and I, easy to use and free AI tools. So let's go. Now the first AI tool that we'll check out is Ideogram. Now Ideogram AI lets you turn text into beautiful images. Let's see how this AI works right here. This is the home page of Ideogram. It says, describe what you want to see. Now I'm going to put in a text like cat on the moon with an Indian flag. So there we go. We have some cat images right here that this AI generated. Let's open this up. Look at that. That's apparently a cat on the moon with an Indian flag. Let's see what the other image looks like. There you go. That's a white cat now. Now the second tool is interesting. We have here, it's called My Heritage. Now My Heritage, what it does is if you feed in your black and white old school images, let's say you have images lying around in your cupboard, those old school Kodak camera images, right? You click photos of those physical photos and then feed it on your computer and feed it into the AI. What it does is it will instantly colorize the photographs. As you can see on their homepage also, they have given an example where you can colorize and restore colors. But let's try and upload a photo of our own. We're going to go to upload photo and we're going to upload a black and white image into the AI and see what happens. All right, it says it's colorizing the photos and our photo is ready. I mean, that is insane. Look at the intensity of the colors, the HDR. This looks like the photo was taken in color. And look at the difference between the two. This was our original photo and now look at the beautiful greens and the skin tone. It's so beautiful. Now moving on to our third AI tool, where, which everybody must have heard about is Google search. Now Google search recently updated its engine with generative artificial intelligence, where you can just search for things like, let's say in this example, I'm going to search Paris. And if we click enter, it can literally generate a text about Paris with some of the links on the side, and then we can ask some more questions around it. So in this example, we have a generative AI experiment where it's saying Paris is the capital of France and different details about it. You got some beautiful photos right there. So that's generative AI in Google search. So let's move on to a grand finale where I'm going to produce a rap song with the help of my AI friends. Now, first off, we have this tool called cookup.ai, which will help me generate lyrics for my rap song. Now, I'm going to describe my topic as Apple event, iPhone, Apple watch, maybe a MacBook. All right, now let's see what result it generates. All right, so we now have some fun lyrics for our rap song evolved around the Apple event. And we are going to copy this song well, let's try with the first verse and the chorus. All right, so now we are in the Suno AI and let's start by typing in the word chirp and see what happens. There we go. It's telling us to describe the style of music, which in our case, it's rap. We're going to paste the lyrics and we're going to click on submit. And now the bot is generating music around our lyrics. And here we have it the grand finale right here. 
try out the first song that the bot created. Let's click on play and see what happens. Damn, that's true. Now, if you ask me, that was pretty good for an AI and that was pretty good as a song. Like the beat was catchy, the lyrics, great. We generated the lyrics from the AI and then the other AI did all the work for us in producing that music. So there you have it, the power of AI unleashed. Now, which of these tools are you excited to try soon? Let us know. And for more such fun tech videos, keep watching Tech Today. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.